Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and I think this is the this is the comic that broke me. Yeah, this is the the last straw. Um, so uh, I've kind of flirted with this idea. Actually, not really. I just talked about doing it more, but I really <coughs> do think I'm going to transition to just reviewing old comics. I'll do comic book news, you know, and. Uh, uh, read old comics and I think I'm done I'm done going to the comic book store uh, if something's like extra et- I don't know I don't even want to do cringe I don't even want to do it like um, they've just they've absolutely killed this thing and the thing that's pissing me off is I'm gonna review this and people are gonna say but it's good why are you being so harsh on it it's, it's not good this is good in quotation marks with for 2019, which is an absolute freaking hellscape. Like, if you live across the street from a comic book store, I still can't recommend that you go in weekly or every two weeks. Like, I, I can't recommend the aspect of being into comics where you go and collect new comics anymore. I, I talked about I went to Portland and I went to a new comic book store, and their model was all back issues. It was awesome. It was like this basement store. Um, and the guy was very, very happy. He's, he was very confident. He's like, he's like, I did the math. I did the research. I talked to, you know, you know my, my friends in the industry. Like, this is it. This is how you do it. That is how you do it. I can have so much fun. I got a couple hundred back issues. And I, the only reason I only have, a, only have a couple hundred is because I limited myself. There's 80 years of fantastic comics. And this is what it comes to. Jane Foster, Slay Queen. We're going to try for the fifth year in a row to get some, you know, uh, women who steadfastly refuse to ever read comics. She's a woman, woman, woman. Like, look at that expression. She's not trying to entertain you. I'm not going to do emotional labor for you, okay? I'm going to, like, exist and be amazing, and you can either buy it or not. Uh, So, yeah, I'm not going to buy it. I'm not going to go to the comic book store. Screw, screw it. So here's Jane Foster, Valkyrie, because yay, she's so amazing. Jane Foster was Thor, and then she died, and then we immediately brought her back because it's current year Marvel and literally nothing matters. The most god awful, mediocre story. Oh, hey, look, she has approved body type. I'm sure the committee that approved this body type was very diverse. 73% of them were in wheelchairs. Oh, look. Not too tall. Not too short. Not too curvy. Not too not curvy. Not too pretty. Not too plain. Wow, cool. Marvel is now designing characters the same way that, uh, Goldilocks chose which porridge to eat. Uh, then she talks. She's, she's going through like I was Thor. I was just holding the title for a friend. No, 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 no. That's not how it works. I was reading this trash, you know, clickbait. It's like um, we need to replace all pale, male, and stale superheroes. And of course, it was written by a blonde-haired white woman because it's current year. Uh, and they're like, nobody had a problem when Captain America wielded the hammer. Uh, yeah, because he didn't suddenly say, I'm Captain Thor, and start speaking like, you know, the gods do in the Marvel Universe. He just used it as a weapon, and then he gave it back (laughs) as soon as freaking possible. Uh, but no, we're gonna, uh, pretend that, um... I don't know. Jessica from HR is fascinating. So then uh, she goes, then they do the silly Billy thing. Hey, do you remember the lame ass uh, villain? He's so lame. I'm going to, I'm going to easily beat you. With that exciting expression. Oh, and then this is what she looks like in her secret identity. A mousy woman with a blank stare. That's fun. 
Look when she makes that expression. I had that expression when I called a breakfast taco a breakfast burrito repeatedly. It's like I made a mistake, but it's not really that big of a deal. That was my expression. And then she has the power to have many powers. Uh, so, you know, classic SJW thing. SJWs, they don't create, they destroy, they don't give, they take. Jason Aaron is a current year male feminist. No, no, please, please don't run away. It's not an accusation. It's just, whew, we get scared when you say that. Hey, look over there. That guy's a current year male feminist. So, uh... Um, like, Jane Foster is in Thor, but she's kind of, like, more amazing than him, because she's, like, a woman. Um, and, uh, so, you can't give her her own identity. She's stealing superhero identities from men, and then she's stealing superhero identities from women. Valkyrie was a character. Oh, but it's a title. It's a title. Like she says here. Thor is a god. Valkyrie is a job. Yeah, technically, technically. But there was a character named Valkyrie, and she was really freaking cool. And guess what? She did it look like someone playing cosplay. Oh, I forgot the best one here. This is what a panel looks like in a Marvel comic. Two women who got tuckered out at a cosplay convention. Um chit-chatting this is literally the afterlife and she's talking about like a super weapon that's gonna you know can like level cities she's like um so how's like being dead or whatever i mean it's good but it could be like goodier whatever why would anyone <laughs> yay it's like queen yeah, man. Look at that expression. <laughs> the face that put another hundred comic book stores out of business. So, um, I, you know, I got like, I don't know, four more comics from, uh, geez, two days ago. I'm gonna work my way through them. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm done. I think I'm done. Sean Gordon Murphy's Curse of the White Knight. Um, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna. No, I'm not going to the comic store. You know what? <laughs> I'm just waiting. Yeah. I, I don't want to go into comic book stores. No, I don't. No, I'll go to a comic book store and I'll get back issues. Yeah, that's what I'll do. And if you have a very, very specific book you want me to review, I, ca I can't make a promise. This is just awful. It's torture. The funny thing is that, like, I've, I've been getting that comment a lot in the comments. People are like, oh, this is, you know, thanks for doing this. You know, this is just awful. I, how do you do this? And I was like, well, I'm just reading a comic. But it's like, it wears on you. Like, this stuff is awful. It's made by virtue signaling nitwits that hate the fans. That have to passively, aggressively, government name aggressively, aggressively change and ruin everything because hashtag women are amazing. Okay, commit to the bit. Put Vidai all on Batman. Put Mags on X-Men. Make Heather Antos the editor-in-chief of uh, uh, Marvel. C c commit to the bit. Commit to the bit. Commit to the bit. Oh, and then somebody was sending me this link. They got the new writer for G.I. Joe, and uh, he, he won on the G.I. Joe uh, fans and was implying that they were bigots. Time is a squared circle. <laughs> the, doom, the doom of comics is to endlessly repeat 2017, the year 2017, until it just, just flat out dies. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to just finish out the, the new comics I bought. Uh, uh, Sean Gordon Murphy, White Knight. That's going to be it. And a whole bunch of back issues. Cool, awesome, exciting back issues. Successful, normie fair that sold hundreds of thousands of copies. I... Uh, I, no, I'm not going into comic stores anymore. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. I'm going to sign up for that uh, uh, DCBS that mails you stuff. 
and uh, I go to like half price books whenever I, you know, whenever every three months when I run out of back issues. This feels good. I like this. No more comic shops. Not going in any more comic shops. No more new comics. That's, yeah, that's great. I love it. Congratulations, you idiot SJWs. You just chased someone who makes a lot of money <laughs> uh, away from uh, your, your dying industry. I mean, you know, when it all gets down to it, you know, what I started out was a customer. It was a co- just a consumer, a customer, a potential customer. Absolutely destroyed it. Like 100%. I got it. There's enough. There's 80 years of amazing back issues and stuff's coming in the public domain and I'm just going to make my own. I'm just going to make my own Batman stories, my own Captain America stories, my own Conan stories. <sighs> put Conan in a dress. That's right. Just, just put everyone in a dress. Why aren't you in a dress, Jason Aaron, you bigot? Do you hate trans people? Whatever. <laughs> All these people can go to hell. Um, uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed. This is still going to be a cool channel. It's going to be a fun channel. It's going to be a funny channel going to be a good drive to work. I, uh, I, li- I like to listen to videos like when I'm getting ready, you know, brushing my teeth, stuff like that. Uh, I'm still going to be doing videos, lots of videos, um, uh, you know, because part of my business model is, you know, have a YouTube channel, promote it to people. But yeah, the, the thing is, I, again, I keep flashing back to that guy I spoke to in Portland. Um, really cool guy, very personable. I think he said he used to own a new comic store like in the 90s or 15 years ago. And he was so happy and sure in his decision and I've heard multiple accounts they're like yeah you know one of the one of the stores in my town they went to you know uh, prestige and back issues and they're doing great now it's a great fun hobby I can do 20 books a week yeah, let's say 14 a week and just never ever ever run out. Never even have to do like B material. I can do nothing but A material for the next five to ten years. <sighs> Man. So, uh, <laughs> this is your boy Zach signing off from ever reading any new comics not made by Sean Gordon Murphy. Uh, John Malin. I'm, I'm going to do, I'm going to read uh, John Malin, Ethan Van Skyver, Kyle Ritter, you know, uh, people like that. But uh, I'm done. Congratulations, Jason Aaron. You get to go tell uh, uh, one of your weirdo in the community who was grabbed uh, uh, for their, um, uh, uh, I don't know. Hey, your elbows look like the elbows of this character. You've never read a comic and you actually think everyone in the Midwest is a Nazi? By all means, come in here. Here's five books three months later. Uh, Have fun doing whatever stupid ass shit you freaking morons do. Uh, Thanks for watching. Bye.